Welcome back to Beck. Today, we're looking at a 2011 Dodge Journey with a charging issue. As you can see, it's less than 12 volts. So, see what the graph shows. It should go up and down and not be flat. When I got this all new, there was only one option. It's a remand one. This one's from O'Reilly's. As you can see, you're going to have a bolt there, two up top. Your, you get your wire that feeds it and your connector. Go ahead and replace the belt since the belt has to come off. And your alternator is on the passenger side up front. I think they talk about AC lines, but. I think if you remove this radiator hose, you might have to loosen that wire harness up to get it to move. I think you'll have enough room. I obviously have to take this cover off. So, here we go. I guess the battery is in front of the driver's side wheel well, so you can either take that cover out, disconnect it there, the driver's side. Got your negative lead here, and you got your positive there, obviously. So we can take the negative off first, disconnect it there, and use a voltmeter to check at the feed there on the back of the alternator. Make sure we don't have power. with a test light so I got it hooked right to the negative cable so there's the positive cable that's the one that seems to light up so if I come over here to my alternator to test it this light does not light up so we know that we don't have to unhook the battery in the wheel well it's your safety clip undone For the power wire. Set that somewhere where you'll lose it. Okay, your two bolts here are 13. I'm gonna guess the one on the side is a 13. And we still need to take the serpentine belt off. Now I went ahead and took that hose out, tucked it up here. Splash shield. Take this off. Okay, that out of the way. Just need to get the tensioner. And I think it's three eighths. Okay, so I've got that special serpentine tool. And actually, this the tool started about this angle, and that's all the further we need to go. And I got it locked on the transmission um, casing. Easiest one's gonna be walking it off the uh, water pump. All right, gonna take the belt off here. Just leave the rest of it on. Yes, that way you don't have to worry about the belt routing. You take them bolts out real quick. You get these cordless ratchets. I got this from O'Reilly's. I think it was 60 bucks. Might have been a little more than that, but totally worth it. Oh, the battery from this also works in a 3 8 impact. So if you get both of them, you got two batteries. So the other bolt, you can just see right there. I can't get the camera in here and work at the same time. Okay, so that bolt's out and that alternator essentially wanted to fall out on its own. So I'll try to take it up out of there now. Just for comparison, the bolts are all the same length. Before you get too crazy, always compare your new part to your old, making sure that the brackets look the same. 
connectors are the same. Nothing else looks weird, so this should be good to go. Try to show a different angle going in. Not that angle. here so it's going to be easiest is to start these two out here so the owner can kind of swing just a little bit so that's what we're going to do Here's that. Okay, lock it in. I'm gonna do the belt real quick and then I'll put these hoses back on. So I'm gonna replace the belt because we did the alternator anyway and it's got over 100,000 miles on it. So here's a new one. Gonna pull the old one out, compare length, make sure it's the right one even though it was the only option. Alright, so I got that belt on hook from all them pulleys. They appear to be the same length. Alright, got that belt on. So now we can take the tool off there. Back up top, finish our connections. took off in the beginning, which may not have needed to. So bolts are tight, connectors, just need to put these hose clamps on. I don't even think we need to fill coolant, it's almost full. So. I'm going to cheat, make sure I don't got any leaks. No leak there. No leaks there. So that's good. That's not good for that. Old one. New.